Hello everyone and so welcome to a brand new let's play on the channel. This is Stardew Valley. Oh, what perfect timing. I am so excited to bring you guys this game. Um, and for those of you who don't know, this is a modded series. Um, I played through the game plenty of times without modding it and uh, I've decided let's just mod the hell out of this. And uh, I'm very, very excited. There's a whole video of all the mod shopping, which has all the mods that I've downloaded linked below in that video. Uh, but without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and design my character uh, real quick. Uh, so let's see. Let's do simply... Oh, if I can move my mouse freckled. Oh. Oh, it won't fit. <laughs> mm, okay. Well, we will do just my first name, which is Jesse. We will do freckled farm. And my favorite thing is alpacas, which is very true to life. Uh, we will do dogs because I have a dog mod. Let's do the forest farm. If you can't tell, I have thought about this quite a bit. And then we will switch my eye color and I'll be back once I mess with some of the settings. Uh, and yeah. Okay, this is our character. Everyone meet Jess. I think I'm going to change it to Jess instead of Jesse. Boop. There we go. Oh, cute. But she looks a little bit like a bell, especially with the hair tied back and everything. I don't know, just just super cute. Okay, um, uh, should we skip the intro? I feel like we should skip the intro, just because I I feel like we've all, all seen that by now. And if not, then then I'm sorry. But we're just gonna we're gonna do that because the intro is so long, and I just don't really feel like going through all that again. Basically, we're uh, ooh ooh hello. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Look at all the mods. <laughs> okay, uh, we got some parsnip seeds. Uh, here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. Perfect. And then we have um, all of the shows and stuff, which I forgot about. Uh, let's see what the, our weather uh, weather report is. Uh, it's gonna be clear and sunny all day. Okay, can I move this stuff? Because that's a little bit annoying to be right there. Um, I wonder if there is an option for that, actually. Gameplay, sounds, um, menu backgrounds, lock. Hmm. Um, uh, maybe there is an option, but I don't like it being right there. Hmm. Okay, this is the one thing about mods, is that sometimes you gotta, sometimes you gotta adjust things. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to move that. But we'll leave it for now, I will mess with that in a bit. But let's go ahead and clear out a patch for our parsnip seeds and everything. Oh, it feels good to be playing this again because it's been it's been a hot minute since I last played this. <laughs> but like, I don't know, just playing a farming sim on my channel just feels like a little bit like coming home, if that makes sense. Just because like whenever I was going through school or like a hard time and I was stressed out or just anything or maybe like life got too much sometimes, I would just play a farm sim or Animal Crossing or something and it would just always relax me. So it's just... It's good to come back to this every now and then. Uh, especially Stardew Valley, because I've been playing Stardew Valley pretty much since it released. And I've been keeping up with all the updates and stuff. And yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just pretty nice. Oh, you can see our little experience down here. I might actually just leave it here for the episode and mess with it later. If I have to just uninstall the mod, that's fine. I'm not too worried about that. I don't think that's going to break my game by any means. Okay, let's just remove some of this stuff. I'm clearing out a pretty big patch so we can have like... Uh, more crops. One, two, three, four, and five. Beautiful. We will do a three by five. I might actually add another row just so we can have, um, oh gosh, the crops needed for the bundle just planted right over here. So we will just do all of this. Uh, do we level up anything with this skill? No, we do not. Okay, well that's alright. And then we will do the watering can, uh, which it doesn't look like we're leveling anything up by using this. It's kind of cool to see that actually like if I could just move this up into the top right corner I would really appreciate that but I'll go back to the mod page and see what that says and everything but I just kind of want to get into the game right now um let's go ahead and water these and then oh I don't have enough for a chest oh that's what I was gonna do mm. oh well uh let's go ahead and get rid of these um maybe we will actually do a, another row down here come to think of it and then we can plant oh didn't mean to do that and then we can plant uh, all these wild berries that we're going to have, especially because we chose the farm plot, so we will have a lot of wild berries. And let's go ahead and just water these guys. Beautiful. We will fill our watering can up before we go. Also, the little butterflies floating around are a mod, too. Oh, they're super cute. 
And just for my own OCD, um, we're gonna move all this over here. I like to have my wooden stones in the top right of my inventory, just so I can kind of keep count. Oh, that's gonna be so annoying. Mm. But here's the problem, I can't save. So I can't really like get rid of that. Oh my gosh, look at her forging. Ooh, that goes up real fast. Okay, and because I know the beach is gonna have a lot of items, we're gonna go and sell these, ooh. I should put them in a chest because they're needed for a bundle as well, but we're gonna go ahead and sell them. Just to earn some money. But yeah, not bad so far. Okay. Whew. Uh, let's see what the village looks like because that's what I'm most worried about. Because I downloaded a mod, but I'm pretty sure it didn't work. And it's for like a toned down Stardew Valley town. And it didn't work. Because I'm pretty sure it tones down these buildings so they're not quite as bright. I mean, if it doesn't work. Oh, see, it's blocking Harvey. Oh, that's so annoying. But if it doesn't work, then that's, then that's all good. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Oh, look at his little, like, portrait. Cute. Oh, I love it. I mean, the inside looks pretty toned down. Maybe it's just the exteriors that didn't work. Or maybe the exteriors just stay the same. I don't Oh, yeah, the interiors are definitely different. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Piers got the good stuff. Ooh, the good stuff. The good, good cocaine. I'm sorry. I've never done cocaine. I don't know why I said that. Uh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Aw, Marnie's cute. Oh, there's Abigail! Abigail! Hello, his Miss- or hey, it's Miss Jess, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for some seeds, my shop is a place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. That's always good. Abigail, don't go into your room! I want to meet you! Oh, hello! Oh, she's stunning! Look at her! I've actually never married Abigail. And speaking of marriage, please let me know who you guys want me to marry in this let's play. I pretty much, I feel like I've married a lot of people. I don't know if there's really a whole bunch that I haven't married. Um, I know I married Shane, Harvey, maybe Alex, Penny for sure. Penny was the first one I married. And I feel like I'm missing two other ones, but that's okay. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Oh my god, she's so cute. I also have a mod that, like, removes the bow legs that she has, which always drive me, like, a little bit crazy. So, yeah, okay, can we steal from this trash can? Nope, because there's people. Gosh darn it. I like to run through trash. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. It's funny because in real life, I'm dating a dude who looks like this. Like... Like, looks like him a little bit, and also is kind of a jock. Oh, this looks so nice. It's kind of a jock, too, so it's it's ironic. His name is also Alex, fun fact. Hmm, it's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. Hmm. Okay, that's very rude. Why, hello! And welcome to our little community, Miha. Everyone here calls me Granny. You can call me uh, that if you like. Have you met my Chiquito? Sorry if I butchered that. Alex? I have met Alex. He was very kind, uh, but we're just gonna we're just gonna leave now. <laughs> also, sorry if I butcher things. Um, I only speak English really and like a little bit of Italian, but I took Italian like a year ago in college, and I only remember really how to order a beer, which is very college of me to remember. And I think that's uh, Vare una birra or Vare un birra, something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and get this little dig spot. Boop! Yay! I don't know if Gunther is open right now. I found an artifact. Yep. Uh, are we gonna be- yeah, we should be able to stack all these. Hopefully. Okay, and then you- yes, good. I think everything automatically stacks. So, like, if you pick up, um, a shell and then you pick up another shell, it's not gonna, like, change quality to where it can't stack. If I remember. Ah, uh, the new farmer. We, I don't think I married Elliot, actually. Uh, we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, cute. Okay, um, how many do we need for this? I was wondering. With 300. I thought it was like 50. I think 50 is needed for a chest. Hmm. Okay, we might have to get a chest and then get the bridge. Because I want to put some of these tools away so we can store more things. But, uh, let's run over to Gunther's and see if that's open right now. Uh, mainly just because, like, I want to get this out of my inventory. <laughs> Plus, I think we get, like, a little reward for that. Uh, if I remember correctly. Oh, cutscene. The museum looks great. I love this toned down. Ab small. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Yeah, this is a sad museum, bud. Like, this is depressing. 
So it's one of my favorite things to fill up the museum and games, like Animal Crossing especially. Oh, What's this? He found something? Let me see. Hello, it's a starfish. <laughs> it's not very exciting. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Oh, I'll donate it. I don't need it. Hmm. I got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We can make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Okay. Think about it, William. If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. I can definitely do that. Okay. Looks like that's it. Sorry again for this experience thing. I feel so bad that it's like right there. But I can't really do anything about that. Um, ooh, where do we want to place this? Uh, let's just place it up front. We'll place it in the front spot. And we can always move it later, which is really nice. But let me talk to you. Oh, do I have to go all the way around? I don't think I can chat with him. Yeah, nope. Can't really chat with him. That's okay. Uh, let's see. Is there anything in the trash? Nope, not really. Uh, we can go talk to... Is it Cliff or Clint? I think it's Clint. Maybe. Hello, friends. It is Clint. Er, hi. I'm Clint. Oh. I'm the town's blacksmith. If you ever need anything up... Or if you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Oh, Clint. It always makes me so sad, like him and Emily. Like, I wish I could get them together, but I don't think you can, can you? I also, like, um, since the update, I haven't been able to upgrade Pam's house. Like, I haven't played since then. Also, I'll go ahead and do this JoJo cutscene. Is there a cutscene? No. But we can talk to Pam. We can see Pam. Oh, oof. Ooh, that's rough. <laughs> hey, kid. The name's Pam. I feel like she would have that smoker's voice. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Oh, sorry. I feel like what I just said was a little bit jerk-like. Oh, there's Sam. Look at little Sam. Yeah, I haven't married Sam either. Sam's on the clock. Better not talk to him, okay? Is Shane the same way? Yep. Aw, oh, look at them in their little JoJo outfits. Cute. I've never actually bought anything from JoJo Mart. Like, I've never gone the JoJo, JoJo way. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I just feel bad about doing that. Hi, Abigail. You're so cute. Okay, I think we're gonna forge a little bit more and sell all this stuff, and I will meet you guys back at the farm. Okay, I pretty much sold everything that we collected today. Oh, I was gonna run by Piers. Oh, no. Hopefully he won't close down because I need to buy those three seeds that are needed for the bundle later on. If we can get those, I will feel very, very happy and accomplished. Because then we can take however much time we want just to, like, chop wood, which is really what we're going to be doing the rest of this episode. Because, yay, wood chopping and first day grinding. <laughs> I feel like that's such a theme in these games. Like, especially the first day. Oh, Leah! Oh, I feel like I can never find her. Oh, she's so cute! Oh, look at her face! Oh, I've yet to marry her either. Hello, it's nice to meet you. Oh, God, she's adorable. Look at that. I love these portraits. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Oh, you're so cute. Uh, okay, so let's get bean, cauliflower, and a potato. Okay, and I think that's all we need for now. Yeah, I think that's all we need. Uh, we can buy more seeds and expand our farm a little bit later, but I kind of want to wait until we get, like, sprinklers and stuff. Oh, I don't think I have met you. Hello, you must be Jess, a new farmer. I'm Caroline. Oh, nice to meet you. My husband runs a general store here. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with purple hair. Aren't we all pale, though? Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Nice to meet you, Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. I bet. And you must be a little bitty Vincent. Hello. Oh my god, his portrait is so cute. Oh, a stranger. My name is Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Oh, you're adorable. So cute. Okay, oh, and there's Emily. Oh, I have to run and meet everyone. <laughs> I know I should be productive, but this is such a mood. Just running around meeting people. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Okay, I have so many jokes for that, but we're just gonna leave that leave that alone there um oh i see something to harvest or forage it'd be cool if we could get our foraging up today and stuff and then we won't have to worry about that for a little bit also i should have went home and planted these but that's okay whatever <laughs> it's all good um let's see so i might go ahead and just chop some wood here real quick and it's not very exciting it's just me kind of going around and doing this um yeah so i might just oh oh hey like 
Helix? Helix? Oh, she's pretty. I feel like all the gor girl, girl portraits are done very, very well. Oh, you're that new farmer girl, or whatever, aren't you? Yep, that's us. Tis I. <laughs> Have you guys seen that meme? And it's like, tis I who set the fire or set the house ablaze or something. And it's like that cat who's just like super, super angry. Oh, I love that meme. That's like one of my favorite memes. Okay, um, I don't think there's any spring onions down here. We might have to wait for like day two or something. Yeah, it doesn't look like there are any. Okay, well, I'm going to go chop wood, plant these, and I'll meet you guys back at the house. Okay, so we are back at the farm. I think I might just chop down one more tree. Uh, we're definitely not going to get to that uh, 300 mark by today. So we might just go ahead and make a chest so we can store extra tools and not have to worry about them. Which will be very, very nice. Because uh, we also can't afford that backpack upgrade either right now. Yeah, we're at 20 out of 270. So we're kind of pushing it. We have enough to do a few more branches, but it's not going to be good. Yeah, it's it's like you're going to pass out any second now. Oop. Okay, yeah, we might just go ahead and leave that there and go to our crafting menu, uh, which should be over here. Bam, and get a chest. Ooh, what is this? A wood sign. Ooh, forgot I had a mod for that. <laughs> I feel like that's also going to be a theme of this show. Show? Series? You guys know what I mean. Uh, so we'll just store all of these guys. We don't need the scythe anymore. We won't need the pickaxe. I mean, uh, I'll keep the hoe on for the spots of things. Okay, and let's make this... Oh, no, wait. I kind of like the default, actually, for this. Okay, cool beans. So I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode. I know the first episode isn't super exciting. It's a little bit grindy and kind of boring. Uh, we'll just turn our fireplace on. And so, yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And please remember to like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang. And please leave in the comments any mods that you guys want me to download. I'll try and fix this forging one for tomorrow. And we should be able to reach level one forging by then, hopefully. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, any mods you guys want me to download and who you want me to marry, leave them down below. And talk to you guys later. Bye.